It is a little better news though while you were sleeping overnight. So we go to the boxes here to Sally. You know, it had this rapid intensification going yesterday when it ramped up to 90 miles per hour and that happened over a couple hour period. But notice wind shear taking hold of Sally, not the symmetrical, well organized system. We've got upwelling and wind shear and with that slow movement, some more upwelling is likely. So it, I think it's already peaked and it would be a category still a category one at landfall, but that's a lot better than some of the things we were watching yesterday. It had the potential to be a two or a three and we're still watching Mississippi and Alabama for that landfall. That's 2 a.m. Wednesday with wind speeds uh, close to 85 miles per hour and then notice it will actually weaken over Alabama in southwest Georgia, west central Georgia here actually as we go into Thursday and Friday and really merge along a front and we're going to watch that front because we'll get some of Sally's leftovers here at home, which could increase our heavy rain along that front as we go into Thursday and Friday. But I still think the good news I'm watching for us is we are watching that flood threat stay farther to the north and west of us. We don't need any more rain as far as the tropics of potpourri of systems. We'll take a close look, but let's get you out the door. We got a few showers this morning. Southeast Georgia showers for recessed really in Georgia. That's going to be our main rain zone today. And then for school pickup, watching for a few more showers toward Lake City and St. Mary's. We'll take a closer look on Futurecast. But first, we've got Brooks Baptiste.